Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to The Road Warrior. Funny, the other day I was hanging out with some friends and we just got to talking about life and how Nashville's growing and the joy and the pain of all that kind of stuff. And he asked me an interesting question. He said, if you had to move somewhere, you wanted to move somewhere, where would you choose? Now, right now I'm in a job that doesn't necessarily allow me to move to any town. My wife can actually move to some towns across America and do her job and it's not a big deal, but not something I've thought about. Okay, I think about it all the time, but it's not something that's going to happen. And I told him, you know, I, I didn't know. Because for me, it has to be a less volatile climate in two ways. Number one, in terms of politics, the ugliness I live in in the South right now with the extreme far right and the extreme far left is not a fun situation for anyone, especially those of us in the middle. And number two, the weather. You know, my wife would move back north in a heartbeat. She'd move to Indiana. She'd move back to northeast Ohio. She's even talked about moving to Canada just to not have to deal with American politics anymore. I couldn't handle the winter weather. Now, I realize it's only a portion of the year, but my body so adversely reacts to the weather these days, I know I couldn't deal with it, and I don't want to deal with it. So it's like, okay, where can I find a less volatile climate, both politically and weather-wise, during the winter months? Or even during the, 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 the summer months, too, where it's gotten so extreme. And for the life of me, I could not figure out what it was, where it would be, because I don't know if there is an answer to that. And that's kind of weird if you think about it. Where would it be? My buddy was saying he'd go to Vermont. And that, that kind of fits in politically, and, and he doesn't mind the snow. Of course, his wife has a bad back and has some bad, bad, is it ankles or feet? And she can't handle extreme cold anymore, and, and so that's kind of out for them. Now, He's lived here 30, 40 years. That's never happened. He's not moving away, even though he's from the north. I've lived all over the country. I don't know if one area is better than another. But with this whole climate change, global warming, whatever you want to call it, I can't handle the days when it drops 50 degrees. When we literally go from, you know, 60 degrees to literally 10 degrees at night. We had that happen just before Christmas. And actually had, I think, a 30 or 40 point swing a couple of weeks ago. It's it's not a there's no, no such thing as a gradual warm or a gradual cold front anymore. These don't happen over the course of days. It happens over the course of hours. And my body my body just can't handle it anymore. And I don't know. I I mean, granted, partly it's it's my advanced age. Partly it's because I'm a big guy and what I've done to my body and the arthritis that is just coursing through my not my veins. What is arthritis? My joints. My muscles, are muscles involved in arthritis? I know joints are. I mean, just the pain I feel any given day of the week because of the weather. Volatile climate, I don't know. I mean, I really, and, and again, I think it's gonna change all because of climate change. It's very strange to think about that way, but, but, I, but I guess in a way you've got to, or at least I have. Back next week, another road warrior, KevinMason.us. Think about that for a minute. You can find all, of the, all the, the Road Warrior videos on KevinMason.us. We also throw them up on Facebook. We have them on YouTube as well. Again, I do not care where you watch. I love the fact that you actually do watch at least portions of it. And we always leave the best stuff to last, right? Okay, I know it's all the same. Please like, subscribe, share, tell a friend, comment, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, all those kind of things that us internet video purveyors are telling you to do. We love it when you do. We love it when you comment. We love it when you reach out. And we'd love it if you come back again next week. Thanks. Think about it. I'm serious. I, I can't figure out where I'd go. See you.